Hi there, this is Martin Hillingworth. I've been charged with the question of, I am an NQT, what are the top three things I should do to be effective? Well, firstly I think you need to establish yourself as a part of the school. You know a wise deputy head once said to me, Martin, there are two types of teachers in the school. Firstly, there's the teachers that are just passing through, and secondly, there's those teachers who are part of the place. Now I guess to a certain extent we're all teachers just passing through, but if everybody thinks that you're part of the place and you're invested in it, that's going to be really, really important. So speak up. Nobody knows you all that well at the moment. Say what you think in whole staff meetings. Say what you think in departmental meetings. Get to know the kids, not just in the classroom, but around and about. Become a part of the fabric of the place. Um, let the staff know that you're here and that you're making a strong contribution to making a school. Secondly, I think you need to earn your credit in the classroom. You know, make it clear to the children that you know what you're doing and also make it clear to them that you care. Those things are intensely important to children. If it looks like you know what you're doing and it looks like you care, the kids, however it manifests itself in behaviour, know that you're the teacher and they're going to let you teach. And the development of that sense that you know what you're doing and that you care is going to give you space to deliver the curriculum that's important. I think thirdly, try and look out for those children that really need your help. You know, I mean, lots of kids come to school without ever really uh, appreciating what it is they're going to get out of it. Kids come to school because that's what they've got to do. Can you support those children who are just wafting their way through school to understand the beauty of their lives now? Can you offer them an education past uh, an education that is defined by an exam score? Can you point them uh, towards the potential that they have for the future? Always be clear about the value of your lesson. Let the kids know at the start of the lesson what's relevant, what's interesting, what's meaningful in what we're doing today. What is it that the children will get from your lesson? In what ways will they be richer in an hour? So those are my three sort of tips for now. Establish yourself as part of the school. Make sure that you're seen. Earn your credit in the classroom. Look like you know what you're doing and look like you care. And thirdly, look out for those children who particularly need your help. Offer them an education at home. Good luck to you and enjoy your teaching.